Okay, so hello. Today we're covering the L1001 Tristar. Uh, the plane, it's um, almost like the MD-10. Uh, it's a nice plane, um, but let's first take off and then I'll tell you more about the history. Okay, yo, so this Saturn doesn't have a uh, 3D cockpit, but yeah, I think this still works. So let's take off. Okay, the Tristar, well, its first flight was on November 16th of 1970, and its introduction airline was Eastern Airlines. And so yeah, it failed because of the because of the large competition with American Airlines and Lockheed. And Lockheed st uh, wanted to make the air uh, airliner because uh, American Airlines wanted a, a plane like the MD-10 and the Lockheed TriStar. The TriStar was built only; it was built only 250 of these planes were built, and yeah, it wasn't the. It was kind of a commercial failure because of the MD-10 that um, was uh, introduced faster, uh, but. The TriStar, it had amazing technology. It could even land by itself already. So it was quite ahead of the technology of that time. And yeah, Easter Airlines operated, and uh, as you can see, British Airways also operated this plane. But yeah, I think this is a quite nice plane. I prefer the, um, it, they look like the same but this was also Lockheed's first jet airliner so and this plane almost put Lockheed into bankrupt but it didn't um, and they and that's why the, the Lockheed doesn't build any more of them uh, passenger aircraft and that's because of the TriStar but yeah the TriStar just looks so like the 70s just looks like lots of that time but yeah it's quite good handling I like it but it's not my favorite plane uh, but okay let's see if we can land this plane let's see if it's easier to land than the MD-11 but of course let's first do some n essential tests like can go inverted I'm not going to the cockpit because it's 2D. So I'm staying third person. Yeah. Works quite well. It turns real smoothly. Let's see if this plane can do a barrel roll. So I'll cheat a bit and go into a higher altitude. First I'll just take this all out. But yeah, see you at the higher altitude then. Okay, so we're quite higher now. Let's see if it can do a loop. Let's see our airspeed first. Okay, yeah, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like it. Come on, you have three engines, you can do it. And by the way, if you didn't know, there were three engines because I was—I'm not sure what was the rule, but it was like if one engine fails, uh, then the plane couldn't uh, land because it didn't have any uh, enough thrust. But yeah, we're stalling a bit now. Come on, can you even turn and lie like we did it? Come on. Okay, let's do uh, go a bit down. Yeah, let's go on to some landings with the plane.
Labs. But we're now landing at London Heathrow. Think rate. Think rate. We can land this one. Think rate. Think rate. Now lining up nicely. Five hundred. Think rate. Four hundred. Think rate. Think rate. Two hundred. Think rate. One hundred. Think rate. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Well, nobody cares if we land a bit of grass. We're just being brave. We know that grass, if you land on grass, everything should be fine. Minimum. Okay, yeah. One hundred. It's gonna be Come on, land. 50, yeah, we yeah we got this. Come on, 40, no, let's just 30, butter. 20, mm, 10. Meh, not the best, but still something. Come on, now we just have to stop. Yeah, we got it. But, but okay, thank you guys for watching. Comment like and subscribe if you like more of this kind of video. Uh, comment about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.